farmed fish are dying in large numbers in the country's north. According to reports, more than $4 million worth of produce has had to be disposed of so far. But the exact cause of the fish kill, as it's known, is under debate, with some experts saying officials don't want to admit the real reason. Chito Santos has more. The fish are suffocating, dying while still in the water. Local tilapia and milkfish, known as bangos, have been affected in Batangas and Pangasinan, two areas in the Philippines known for their fish produce. Luis Awitan from the provincial government of Batangas blames overfeeding for the problem. It was the practice of the fish cage operators in the area to overfeed the fish, thinking that it will help uh, the fish grow faster. But, uh, but in reality, the feeds that were not taken by the fish just settled down in the bottom of the lake. That added to the decomposition and, the pa- and pollution of the lake. Mr. Awitan, who's head of the government's environmental office, says the main cause of the fish kill was a naturally occurring drop in oxygen levels caused by heavy rainfall. According to uh, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, they call it a uh, lake overturn. That's where the, uh, the rainfall, which has a lower temperature, goes down to the uh, bottom of the lake and uh, the water below the lake Uh, accordingly has low dissolved oxygen level. For these types of fish to survive, the water has to have six parts per million of oxygen. But in the affected area, that's dropped to 3.5 parts per million. And not everyone agrees that rainfall is the culprit. Dr Gil Jacinto from the University of Philippines Marine Science Institution told Filipino TV the affected areas did not receive enough rain recently for a fish kill to occur naturally. The likely scenario is masyado nang mababa yung oxygen. Dr. Jacinto told the news program the water's oxygen levels were already too low to begin with due to overpopulation, the result of illegal fish cages. The government has now committed to a program to dismantle illegal cages including 1,300 cages in Tar Lake alone. But they've refused to admit that overcrowded cages are the main reason for the fish kill. Dennis Calvan, executive director of NGOs for Fishery Reform, says officials are not admitting overpopulation is the real cause for fear of frightening consumers. Actually, I talked to the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources director last night, and he said that the attention that was generated because of this fish kill has already um, affected um, some sectors like um, restaurants were offering bangus and tilapia. So I think the local government is managing the bad publicity generated by this fish kill. According to official statements, only half of 1% of the expected nationwide output of the fish has been affected. But the damage has been done. Mr. Calvan says the underlying problem lies in regulating the fish farms, which traditionally have been self-regulated. So there's the BIFAR, for instance, the national agency who is, who is in charge. They have a national legislation, they have national policy guidelines for this, but um, the implementation really is up to the local government units and fish pond owners and fish pond operators. So the weak uh, implementation, implementing mechanisms at the ground level um, should, be, should be taken into consideration. Officials say the affected waters will be ready again for fish farming in two months, but the recovery effort will continue beyond that. Social welfare programs for local farmers who've lost their livelihoods and reforms to the fishing industry are now underway to ensure that massive fish kills do not occur anywhere else. I think the first step to this is to, for local government units to be capacitated. Um, they should um, know proper means of um, fish farming and enact ordinance that would regulate the fish farming, the aquaculture practice in their area. That's Dennis Kelvin from the NGOs for Fishery Reform organisation, ending that story from Chito Santos. And Chito joins us again in the studio. He's